2017 edition of the Bike and Street Festival. This is the mall invasion actually and uh, we get Joy FM supporting this particular uh, event of course and so this is what we do. Joy News we're here and uh, to find out what exactly is happening I have Baba right here uh, to tell me exactly what the mall invasion is about. I know that you guys have been to other malls. This is the yes. Junction Mall and, yes. this, is and this is the second mall. Second we, mall. We what, what is different about this one? Okay, what's different is um, from the first one, because it was Valentine's Day, we, we got to share chocolates, you know, with, with our patrons and, and it was quite fun. And then we thought, okay, this time it's not Valentine, but people want to have a feel of a bike. Yeah. So why don't we give them free rides? You know, it's all in support of promoting the safety awareness campaign and then also getting the public to understand that bikers are very responsible people. Bikers are really the people that you see around. They have just chosen another medium of transportation. Of course, Joy FM Multimedia is here to support them. And the reason behind it, Black, uh, will tell us right now. Uh, of course, you know that uh, Joy FM, we started uh, Joy at the Mall last year. And of course, in conjunction with Junction Mall, this year Junction Mall decided to have a fair and of course have a car show and a bike show. And of course, being uh, the best station in Ghana, we of course joined them to bring entertainment, music, and of course to help them showcase what they have to do there. Yeah. So far, what, what, what have you seen? Are you enjoying it? Of course, it's been a great show. Uh, we started on Friday. Yesterday we did an auto car show, some car display, and today there's been a bike uh, street show. So as you can see, there's been a lot of bikers, different kinds. We've learned a whole lot about biking, how to dismantle a bike, put it together, seen a lot of uh, screeching, performances and all. So it's been a great one, we're still watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm dressed up because, you know, as a good biker, you need to protect yourself. Because in Ghana, yeah, people don't respect bikers. So most of the accidents that happen, you can see it for yourself. But when you can buy an expensive bike, you have to buy an expensive stuff, dress, gear for protection. Bike riding is, is, is the commonest and simplest thing you can ever learn. Just make sure you have your gears, your helmets, your protective clothes, your knee guards and everything, and your boots. You are good to go. What do you think about this edition? This edition is massive. It's better and bigger. So we pray that it will continue to become big and better. <laughs> Hello, Becky. Nice, nice shop. I, I've seen everything, and I think that you've done extremely well. Thank you, and I'll say thank you actually to the entire team. Mm. They they are the reason behind the dream. Shouts to Frank. Shouts to Derek. Shouts to Maso. Shouts to Crystal. Everybody who is on this team, uh, making sure that we we make it happen. Mm. Yeah. So. Um, first of all, um, you're saying that this is the only, you know, best Timberland. Uh, for those of you who don't know, some, some people like us, uh, we don't really wear Timberland. Mm -hmm. uh, but tell us, um, how genuine is this one? Well, this, this, this is like legit. Uh, this is authentic. This is original. Uh, I decided to share in the dream of Timberlands because I think it represents my brand. Uh, Timberlands stand the test of time. Uh, Timberlands are original uh, and, and that is similar to my brand. Uh, my music always stands the test of time and myself as an artist and I, and I like to be different and Timberlands are also very rugged and very 
aggressive and, and, and that's the type of persona I have. So when we decided to, to work together, I feel it's a brand I could, I could deal in. And, and also we decided to fill a space, the space of people not having access to buying original timberland. So we decided to bring the originals into the country. Um, it's, there are a few things uh, that uh, I'll show people okay. for you to know that it's original, uh, but there are other things that I'm going to be posting on my social media page, like Instagram, for people to know how to determine. So number one, when you take an original Timberland boot, mm. when you see the space between the sewings of the rope that is at the edges, the space between all of them are very, very equal. You never ever get that for the ones that are not originals. So you see that the spaces between the first rope, the second rope, the third one, the fourth one, are all really, really, really equal. That is something people who don't do the originals find difficult to do. Okay. Then two, when you get the Timberlands, you will realize that, let me, let me, let me actually get okay. something bigger. Yes. All right. So when you get something like this, you realize that all the way from the beginning of the rope to the end, to the tip. yeah, to the tip. The ceiling is virtually like the size of the lace. Okay. But when they are not originals, you, you see that they either put a metal here or they either put something that is like rubber, very bulky here to, to try to secure it. Yeah. And then two, and then three, standard Timberland boots, if you are not sure about the boot itself, the box which it comes in, when you scan it with a barcode and you search it on the internet, the color that you bought in the box, the color, the exact color is going to pop up on the internet. So all the products have their code, all the products have their serial numbers, and then you can be able to, if you are not sure about the features I just, I just showed you, you can always scan the, the barcode with your, with your barcode scanner on your phone, search it, and then the exact color that is in the box is going to pop up. If it doesn't pop up, it's a no-no. Yeah, I'm not 